Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. I have a first impression here from Aura Estelle. It is the A5 Complete Weekly Vertical. It is undated. Yes, undated. I can't, can't get over it. So this was discounted. I want to thank my friend Tiffany um, for telling me about this. And she knows I love the Tomoe River Paper. And I wanted to just try it out because I am all, I am in my trying all the planners era. If I find a planner that I like, I want to get it. So I have not taken this out of the box. I just got it in the mail a little bit ago and I cannot wait to flip through this and talk to you guys about it and get my first impression. So it is undated eight full vertical columns. All right. 3.7 millimeter grid Monday week start weekly vertical plus grid pages. I think there's a grid page in between every single week, which, oh my God, I'm here for. All right, so it's A5 and it looks like this, all right? And I'm gonna open it up. Like I said, I have not opened this. I want this to be like a true first impression. All right, oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. So Annie Plans does, I was confused. I was like, who is Aura Stell? Who's Annie Plans? Annie Plans ha does the planner, okay? So here we are. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Okay, completely weak, complete weekly vertical. And so I noticed right here, like you see the stitching right there, which is not a bother to me. I just wanted to point it out and everything. This came quickly. It was not supposed to be at my doorstep until the 15th. And it came from Canada. So I think it came very, very quickly. So down here, it says undated. All right, get that straight right there. All right, and so let's open this up. Okay. So it says monthly, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so it says monthly and it has a side, so it says, uh, I can't talk. Sidebar, date boxes, headers, all that good stuff, exercises, so like things you can put in here. And it is 68 GSM, A5, and it has all of this stuff in here. Weekly vertical, top bar, tells you everything that's in here. I am all for it, okay. So there we go. So you open this up right here. And this says this gives you 2023 to 2026. So even though, even though this is an undated planner, you do get from 2023 to 2026. All right, so there we go. All right. And then you have some grid pages right here, some grid pages right here. All right. And so she's um Tiffany was telling me like it's it's a little bit thicker, and I can tell that right off the bat. It's a little bit thicker to Moya River paper, which I'm okay with. You know, I'm okay. All right. And so we have these right here, and you can use these for pretty much whatever. You can use them for, you know, holidays. You can use them for birthdays. You can use it for, you know, habit tracking, mood tracking, all that stuff. I never use these pages. I Not for that. Um, I think I could find a use for it. That would make sense where I would actually go back to it. But um, they are here and they are not dated. No, no, there's no text on it or anything like that. So it goes one through 31. And you do have some space down here. I mean, you can use this for pretty much whatever. You don't even have to pay attention to the numbers. The numbers are, are light enough and the numbers are small enough where you can just be like, look, I'm not going to pay attention to this and use it for whatever. All right, and then you have six and six. So it gives you 12. So if you were to use this for a full year. All right, and then you have some grid pages right here, some more grid pages. All right, and so here is your monthly right here. Okay, we have the monthly. And so you can do a Monday start on this, which I'm all for. I like my monthlies to match my weeklies. It makes sense. I like the weekends being together. So you have a Monday start if you want it and you have this sidebar over here I'm glad there's no calendar well there would be a calendar anyway but you do have space right here if you want to um, you know put some notes down here if you want to use some deco there is a little square cut out in case you want to do you know so you could put your date down there and all right and then we have more grid pages all right there's a lot there's a you can do a lot with this you can do journaling you can do you know meal planning you can do meal tracking you can do ever you can track your health you can do all types of stuff with this and i'm here for it and i'm glad that there's blank grid pages because you can do anything you want you can switch it up from week to week um if this is you know if what if what you're doing is not working for you you can easily switch it up and i love that i love when a planner is blank and there's no prompts there's i don't mind it being like having lines or whatever but if there's no prompts i'm all here for it all right okay 
Then, yeah, so you have all of your months together, all right, which is typical in the planners that have the Tamoy River paper and typical in undated planners. They keep all of your months together and they keep all your weeks together. I don't mind it. I don't mind all the months because when I'm planning my Sterling Inc., I just go from week to week, so I don't mind it. So, and then you get grid pages in between every single month, all right? So I'm just trying to get to the end of the year here, essentially. All right, I don't know. How, wait, first of all, let me count how many months there are because I'm thinking there's more than 12 here, and that'll let you know how long you can use this planner. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve months. Okay. So here we go right here. All right. So it is undated, but the days are there for you with the Monday start. But like I said, if you want to wipe this out, if you want to do a Sunday star, you easily could. I already love this. <laughs> I love this. I am used to the grid because I use a hemlock and oak, but my hemlock and oak has numbers on it. So I do really like this. Um, it says this week right here, you can pretty much use it for whatever you want to use it for. I typically don't use that column. I usually just put deco over it. I never use the side columns. I just never do. Um, but I love this. I absolutely love this. And so you, it goes all the way down to the bottom. Pretty much just one big long to-do list. I love this. Okay, so all of your weeks are together. Now, does it tell me how many weeks are in here? Um, it does not tell me how many weeks are in here. It does not. It probably does on the website. Um, I will put a little ticker or something to let you know how many weeks are in here. Um, I, I assume it's at least 52, <laughs> but sometimes you get more just depending on if it's an undated planner so you can do some future planning. So you have a week and then you have a dot. I, oh my God, I can't get over this. I cannot get over this because I love the dot grid in between. So, you, I mean, you can use this for journaling. You can use it for brain dumping. You can use it for, you know, you can plan out your week. And then, you know, put like just a brain dump and then plan out your week. You can journal, you can meal plan, you can track things. I just love this. I love that there's a week in between each page. I just really love that. All right. I mean, blank in between each week. Can we talk? So that is everything in here. All right. So I'm going to get to the end of this planner and let's see if there's anything in the back that's a little bit extra. All right, so we're still, there's a lot of weeks in here. I'm thinking there's more than 52. And I will know once I actually look at the website. All right, going all the way to the back of this planner. I love the simplicity of it. I love how clean it looks. Oh my God, I love this, I love this. And the reason why I got this planner, one, I am all about, you know, being in, playing in different planners and whatnot. Another reason is like, if there's, you know, I, context. Sometimes I decorate in advance. And sometimes when I get to that week, I'm like, I don't feel like, I don't like this right now. I can get into a planner like this and just pick up where I left off. All right, so there is that right there. So we get to the end right here and then we have a bunch of grid pages in the back. So you have even more in the back to do what you please. All right, it says Aura Still, Annie Plans, 5020. I don't know what 5020 means. I'm sure it means something. Um, but yes, love that. And that is it. This is a one, this is a gorgeous planner. Like, you know, they sell like the jelly covers. This is even too gorgeous to be in a jelly cover. It's an A5. Love, love, love this. I think my hemlock looks a little bit, bit taller, but I love this. I cannot wait. I will be planning. Um, by the time you see this video, I will have already planned a week in here. I cannot wait to get into this and just play around. It's so pretty. I'm so glad that I got this. It has this rose gold foil on it. My first impression of this, if I had not pre, if I had not pre-ordered a hemlock and oak, this would have been my planner. All right. My hemlock and oak, I love that thing. It's going to be my, my catch-all for 2025. If I had not got this planner, I would get this. 
you know, I can easily change my mind easily and get a dated one for 2025. But you know, here we are. But this, I love this planner. Um, it's a tomorrow, it's a little bit thicker, which I don't mind. So I kind of get that happy medium with this, right? I get like what I get with like the Hobonichi and the Sterling ink, but it's also kind of in the middle. I would say it's in the middle between Sterling ink and the Hemlock and Oak paper. Um, I do love that there's no numbers on here. So I don't, it doesn't bother me in the Hemlock and Oak or in the Sterling ink, but I do like that there's no numbers here, just little notches. I love this. I, and I love that there's just, there's nothing that's, you know, you know, cliche or there's no quotes, there's no prompts or anything. I just cannot get over each week having this in between it because you can use this for whatever. Like, say you're a content planner like myself. Like, if I didn't have a content planner, I could easily use this for all of my content planning. And I would only need basically two planners or I could use this with wellness and my so a planner like this can knock one planner out of my system but since I love using my different planners for different reasons you know but I'm just saying what you can use it for you can easily eliminate a planner with the pages in here and then you also get them in the back which gives you even more versatility with this planner and there's even a month like there's even a dot grid in between all the months even more versatile. Like you can do so much with this, and I absolutely love it. It does not come with a ribbon, which I find kind of odd because you have different sections in here. But you know what? It's perfectly fine. Get you some repositionable tabs if you want, or just put a bookmark in there, and you're good to go. But yes, I I really do love this planner, and I'm so glad that I got it. So glad that I got it. Um, let's see. Let's let's see if it lays flat. Oh, it does. <laughs> it lays flat. Oh my God, it lays flat. Love, love, love that. It lays flat. Gotta love that. Even if I turn it all the way, if I put all the paper over here, it lays flat. So that is nice. Right out of the gate, it lays flat. So, you know, it kind of sticks up like this. If you wanted to leave, like, you know, clothes like this, you can easily just lay a book on top of it or something like that. But I really do love this. I love the floppiness of the book bound. I mean, I love book bound planners. This is really nice. I'm so glad that I got it. I can't wait to get in here and play with it and all of that good stuff. It's just really, really cute. Love, love, love it. All right, y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have um, an Aura Stale Annie Plans planner, what size you have, all that good stuff and I am going to get out of here. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and um, follow me on Instagram. All right, I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.